In this video, we are going to set up cross plane on Kubernetes using Linode Kubernetes engine. While Pulumi and Terraform are great infrastructure as a code tool, cross plane has great features to offer. For example, it actively manages configuration drift, which is amazing because you don't have to run any further commands to detect configuration drift. So we are going to understand and set up cross plane closely. Let's move on to a computer screen. Let's get started. All right guys, so I'm inside of my computer screen and let's talk about how to use Crossplane and what is Crossplane. We'll step by step install Crossplane, but before that I want to uh, explain why Crossplane is important and what makes Crossplane different than say Terraform or Pulumi. Now all these are popular infrastructure as a code platforms. Now if you are working with Crossplane, Terraform, Pulumi, Crossplane is a little bit different from Terraform and Pulumi in a way that it also manages your resources while they are actively running. What does that mean? If you are working with Terraform or if you are working with Pulumi, you write some code and that code basically helps you to create some resources online. But with Crossplane, you can update the changes on the deployed infrastructure whenever your infrastructure changes. Crossplane will respond to that. Terraform and Pulumi will not respond to that. They are simply translating the code to infrastructure. That's about it. Okay. So, Let's install Crossplane. We'll start with Crossplane and uh, I'm going to use kubectl. If you haven't installed kubectl, you can do that using this command choco install uh, kubectl. Let me see if I can find that command choco install Kubernetes CLI and kubectl will be installed if you are on Windows like me. But in this video, I'm going to follow this guide and I'll uh, install it with him. So you can go to this link or you can simply copy this command or simply type it out. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and uh, Kubernetes hem will be installed. And then you can go back to this particular page and you can say hem repo add cross plane stable. And uh, let me install this first. Yes, I want to run this script and Kubernetes hem is installing. And yes, it is installed. Now uh, let's add this repo and uh, it has been added to the repositories and let's run update it's it's like a pseudo apt update uh, okay so it's saying that yes update has been installed nice now you can customize your installation and follow the link to create a values file but i'm uh, simply going to follow the recommendations and copy this command and paste it here and you can see that cross plane is being installed using hem okay and yes, it says that uh, it has been installed. The status is deployed. Awesome. So we'll now go to Kubernetes and uh, run this command kubectl get pods minus minus namespace cross plane system. And it is not yet ready. So I'll wait now. It is ready. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's use cross plane now. The cross plane has been installed. And you can see the manager and uh, crossplane has been installed. So these are the two pods that you will see deployed after you have uh, run this command. Now, how to use crossplane? So what we'll do is create a provider.yml file. I'll copy this and create a provider.yml file. So I'm inside of my code folder and I'm inside the start cube directory, which has been created at my user root, okay? Now, if you haven't created this directory, you should be doing it for kubectl to work properly. And if you haven't added your configuration, you should be doing that. Okay. Now let's create a file called provider.yml, provider.yml. And all I'm saying is I want to use crossplane with Linode. That's all what I'm saying with this file. And I'll apply this provider. Let me copy this command and let me, oops, let me paste it. And yes, uh, it has been created. Okay. Uh, now I can say kubectl get providers and you can see provider Linode has been installed. Okay, nice. Now let's create a deployment. I'll copy this file deployment.yml is the file that I'm going to create deployment deployment.yml and let's paste it. And there are some things that I need to change. So th this is the root password that I'm adding. Then I'll add a Linode API token. I'll add my Linode API token here. Let me wait for 
Linode API token to get generated. I'll click here and then API tokens. And after that, I'll simply say I want to create an API token. That is, I'll name this as Linode Kubernetes. I'll delete this API token so it will not work for you. Uh, you'll have to create your API token for this to function properly. I'll copy this API token and I'll paste it here. So I pasted this API token here. And after everything is done, uh, let me see, is there anything else that I need to fill? I think I don't need to fill anything else. Yes, this SSH public key is something that I will have to maybe fill. So I'll simply go to cd.ssh and uh, there is no public key here. Uh, let me leave it blank because I want to authenticate using password. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it blank, but you can always add your SSH public key if you want to seriously use this resource which is being created after I run this command. I'll come back to the docs and we'll run this kubectl apply command to apply this deployment. And it says that deployment dot, okay, so I'll have to close this and I'll have to run it from here. And yes, it has been created. Now I can say kubectl get instances and it says web synced false h6 second. So it has not yet been synced. I'll wait for some time. And uh, after that, I should be seeing all these instances getting ready. So as you can see that this cross plane deployment example is provisioning. All I did was uh, I ran this command, uh, this command which started this deployment for me and in a very similar way we can manage more of our resources using crossplane now once again i told you that crossplane is different from terraform one of the biggest usps of crossplane is that it is not subject to configuration drift that can occur with terraform configurations as you can see my Deployment has been uh, completed and this Linode is running, which means that uh, I'm getting what I was getting from Terraform, but at the same time, the configuration drift is being managed. So I hope that you learned something new from the video. If you want to learn more on Crossplane, you can go to their official documentation and start, uh, you know, even firing more commands and creating more resources and gaining some more experience. But before that, you can try this basic example and it will give you a lot of confidence. I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.